Welcome everyone to UTA Planetarium's Weekly Night Sky. My name is Jim Bader and I'm going to be your guide through the sky this week. These videos are designed to help you identify and see what's up at night in the sky. Please feel free to follow along with the real sky, or if that's not an option, you can download an application similar to the one we're using to make this video. I can recommend one called Stellarium. It's a great place to start, mostly because it's free, it's open source, and it's available for both computers and mobile devices. So, whether you're using a laptop, tablet, or a cell phone, you can still follow along. Look for the link in the description. For this episode of Weekly Night Sky, let's talk about a few of the most well-known and beloved constellations in the sky, Orion and the Hunting Dogs. These are easy to see and packed full of exciting objects. Now, here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we have quite a lot of lights on at night, and this can make seeing the stars pretty difficult. So, as always, our software is going to help simulate what our sky would actually look like. This means if you can see it here in the video, chances are pretty good that you should be able to see it in your sky. It also means that if you're having a tough time seeing something in the video, you're likely going to struggle to see it in your backyard. We are going to start by looking towards the southwest. If you're having a tough time finding your way in the night sky, either check out episode 1 of Weekly Night Sky or take advantage of a smartphone and cheat. Looking southwest after the sun sets at around 9.30 p.m. on April 10th, we can see a few bright stars in the sky. As always, we are going to start with the brightest one visible, this one here. The name of the brightest star in the nighttime sky is Sirius. No, seriously, that, that's the name of the star. Sirius is often nicknamed the dog star, and not because of Sirius Black. It's called this because the star is a part of the constellation of Canis Major, or the big dog. Usually recognized as the star that represents the collar of the big dog, Sirius is unmistakably the brightest star in the night sky. Here in DFW, it's tough to see all of the big dog, so we can use some software magic to show you the full figure. Like all dogs, Kenneth Major has a human companion, a best friend. To the right and a bit higher, we run into one of the most well-known groups of stars in the sky, Orion the Hunter. Most easily identifiable by looking for the three stars that make up the belt. These three stars are all the same color, brightness, and fall in a nice line. We don't really find these three patterns all together anywhere else in the sky. Orion is home to some very interesting objects. Not only does it hold the most ridiculously named star in the sky, Betelgeuse, but it's also home to the Orion Nebula, a nebula you can see with just your eyes, but even more exciting with a pair of binoculars. Since we mentioned one dog, we better bring up the other dog. Starting from the bright star Sirius, we can make a line over to the reddish-orange star Betelgeuse, and then from there to another bright star called Procyon. Procyon is one of the two stars that make up the constellation of Canis Minor, or the Little Dog. Because this constellation is home to only two stars, it's often given the nickname of the Bone, or the Hot Dog. However you see it is fine, but now we have shown you Orion and both of his hunting dogs. After all this, you might wonder, how does their story work into the sky? A hunter and the two dogs? Well, most tales have Orion and the hunting dogs locked in an eternal conflict of sorts with the constellation from last week, Taurus the Bull. Thanks for watching this episode of Weekly Night Sky. Next week's episode will be out a day early, so you have time to see an exciting alignment. 